So hidden words, what are we looking for here? Basically, you're going to be given a sentence. Sorry, look at these words. Oh, there we go. Sorry, here's the sentence. These apples taste perfect. And then all you're going to have to do is find a hidden four or five letter word, depending on what the questions ask you, asking you to find, and between two of the words, right? So that means it's going to be between something like this. So there might be a hidden word between these two, or maybe one between these two or these two, right? So there's only really a few options that you can look between all right okay so if you want to do these pretty quickly what you want to look at is immediately just look at a few of the gaps see if you can see anything straight away and um, especially looking at like two two so something like this you're seeing two letters from each see if you can find anything so what i see is teep esther seep no nothing really nothing really there um so if you don't find anything straight away, then start going a bit more systematically. So we're going to start from E S E A. Nope, that doesn't work. Then we can look at. We already looked at seep. Then we can look at E A A P, E A P P. Sorry, and we know it's not going to be in between these two. Um, quickly go through these. So esta or lest, and then stas. That doesn't seem to work. So we go to the next one, and there we go. We found step. And what I'm doing there, as is explained in these steps, is you're just basically looking between a word and then making, sh I mean, looking at the maximum number of letters there are, which is four. So you try three from the left, one from the right, that doesn't work. Then you try two from two, and then you try a one and three. And you just do that systematically and you go through all of them. So you could either start off with that or you can, like I did, just look quickly and glance over it, see if you can find something first because that can help and like it says here words like Alan um, will not work and then also an example here is talking about a word that is across three words now you have to be careful with this one because you it really depends whether the instructions of the question will let you do this or if it thinks or if it says that it has to be between two words specifically um, so uh, it really depends on the exam you, this is why you want to be making sure that you're reading the instruction on the question that they give and not just seeing that it says hidden word and then looking between those two words only. Um, but with these ones, these ones, all the ones in our book are only between two words. So we're just going to quickly go through some of these again. I'm going to quickly just look at these, see if I can spot anything. So heat, no, miss, obviously nothing there. And what I'm going to do here is because it's R and M, that's not going to work. Like no word starts with R M. It's going to need a vowel after it, so I'm just not going to look at this afterwards anymore because obviously no no word in there. Um, oh, and then we found one actually right there, which is snow. So that's going to be our word. Now let's go on to the next one. So they'll, no. Let's look at um, how well, no. Soap, there we go. And that that's just from skimming through these, and you don't even have to do what it explains up here and do it one by one you don't have to do that just yet so thep or hepa nope um tia no essin no hero there we go and that will really save a lot of time and with most of these verbal reasoning questions it's all about finding out how to do it quickly especially once you know how to do it slowly so we used so we we use use nope ed to set no tooth no tent there we go tent and again with a lot of these even if i had to go over it again i would not be looking at this section again because you don't really find a word like this we use or you don't work, find a word it has two vowels next to each other often, like E and U. And same thing here, where something with D and T next to each other is unlikely to happen, so I wouldn't really be checking over these ones again. I'd be looking at the the word words that are a bit... that make a bit more sense. So, let's check again. Hey, again, I wouldn't look at this again, because Y and, y and W next to each other is not often coming up in words. So, re real, no, defer, ed, ed for, nope, 
Um, and again, D and F. Wouldn't really see that in a word, so I'm not going to come back to that. Umaha, another one which I wouldn't come back to. And vent. There we go. And sometimes your eyes will not really will glance over it and you might look at the wrong thing and then you just have to come back to it um, and see if you can do it systematically. So, hello, no, Rudamere, nope. Let's look, yell, yells, no, some, nice. Now for the other ones, I'll, I'll do it a bit like we did it in the instructions and see if that methodology is a bit more a bit easier for you to understand but just choose whichever one you prefer so we're going to do three letters from here and one letter from here and see that doesn't work then we're going to do two and two that doesn't work lila that's a name not not anything and then yalat that also doesn't work so let's try again three letters from here and one letter from the right and that gives you term and that is a word don't really waste time checking the rest of it if you think it's a word and you know the meaning of it, um, then that'll do. So let's do it again. We're going to do three letters from the left. Sorry, the camera's not really. We'll do three letters from the left. Thet, that doesn't work. And then heter, that doesn't work. Etra, doesn't work. Let's do it again. Endua, nope. Nudua, no. And duas, that doesn't work. Okay, go again. Wazzle, nope. A Asla, no. Slat, nope. Turd, no. Erda, no. Rediva, nope. Keep going. So, Pedi, nope. Edin, no. And Dinto, Dint, that's not a word. So, this one, there's only one letter here. That means we have to use three letters from the left. So, and that's going to be Ento, that is not a word. Uh, let's go again. And you, that's not a word. Now we're left with only one section here. So, nuke, that doesn't work. Elga, nope. And wajen, nope. Okay, so we've gone through all of that and we found nothing. All that likely means is we've missed something. So I'm going to just quickly glance over it again, see if I can find anything. But the closest thing I can think of was either I found edin, that sort of sounds like a word, or dint. And that is, to me, sounds most like a word. So I'm going to put that as my answer. And what I'm going to do is quickly look up <laughs> what dint means. So there we go. We found that dint is a word. Um, but what you can see there from that actually is sometimes there will be a word that you don't know um, you don't know the meaning of. But you can still guess or give an educated guess and get the answer right because it's the one that sounds most like a word compared to the other ones with like etra or hetero and um, they don't really sound like a word um, but yeah let's carry on so shoe nope hewa hewa nope sfer no i'm gonna go to the next one herd nice there we go so like a herd of sheep and let's go again hepper not gonna look for the rest there Dit, nope. Rius, Eris, nope. Sno, nope. Nolo, not gonna go with that. Gera, Erav, and Rava. Okay, we're gonna have to go through this a bit slower as well. So, we're gonna cross out these two. Let's go with this Teddy, no. Edit, that doesn't work. Oh, edit, there we go. So edit. There you go. So again, once you're if you're if you're doing that glancing over technique, you want to make sure that you go over it systematically. Um, if you can't find anything after you got to the end of the sentence, because sometimes you're gonna pronounce it wrong in your head and not realize that it's an actual word. I, I see this happen very often, and it just happened to me. But yeah. So thek, heko, econ, not quite. Acti, nope. So let's go again. Dessa, nope. Akla, no. C Seda, okay. Another one where, especially when it gets harder, sometimes going systematically can help. Act. 
empty. Mm. Tink. No. Oh, right. Okay, so I haven't seen the next one as well. That still doesn't look like a work. Ink. No. So, close. Used. There we go. Used. And the final one of the practice now section. Let's go. Thep. Hepro. No. Pro. No. So. Red. No. Re redo. There we go. Redo. I, I don't think I would have found that if I was not doing it one by one. But there you go. Hopefully you've seen those two techniques and are able to use them during the exam. And really, um, I'm not sure if I said this at the start of the video already, but um, these questions should be ones that you can almost get 100% on. Uh, so you should actually be excited when you see this in an exam because it just basically means a few free marks. If you're slow enough and meticulous enough, sometimes you can get words like this, which you might know the um, definition of. I didn't know the definition of that. Again, hopefully they'll be nice and it will be in, in a sentence where nothing else really makes sense. So, especially with the multiple choices, they can be helpful. But yeah, hopefully that was useful.